Okay, now we'll, we'll install ESPIDF from the original version without using VS Code as a platform. We will go to the ESPIDF site and after wandering a little bit inside the site get the SPIDF and then uh, uh, IDF repository to tool, tools installer for Windows Uh, we got to the installation site. We have two options here, an online installer and the offline installer. For example, we'll choose an offline installer and we'll save it to and download the file. It's a pretty big file and uh, after a while it uh, will be in our download uh, folder. Uh, when we're starting to install the file. Uh, the main uh, issue is to choose, of course, the right version. I am using the latest one. I is the path to the files to be installed? And in the important thing, there is two different folders that ESP asks us to define: one for the .dot expressive and other for the other files, which we have seen previously. Those folders have to be uh, different and you can't install it in the same folder. Okay, I'll put next. We will uh, remain all the, uh, all the menus that were chosen except the Eclipse editor because we will wor work from the original version without uh, compiling it from Eclipse or from VS uh, Code. So we, we are not installing Eclipse. Okay, um, a full installation process will take some time, so after hitting install, uh, I will be back. Okay. Now we'll back, finish, and please note that this is a not a, sta a standard CMD, it's a special ESP IDF CM CMD uh, Windows. Only here we can run the IDF.py uh, and not in the standard CMD Windows uh, window. Here, if we will write IDF.py, we will see, first of all, that it's working and we are in the right Windows and not in the standard CMD, and also we will see all the possible options uh, to run. I, I, I like to work I in my special work folder, so I will open a, a work folder and create project, which I call Proj1, inside uh, the work folder. After that we are going to Proj1 to, to create a folder of the project which was built and trying to compile and build the entire project. If at first it's quite a lengthy process uh, which will take a wh while for the first compilation. In the future it will be much shorter. We will be back after it will uh, finish. Now we have to define at which COM our ESP is connected via the USB cable. At my in, in my case it's COM3. For example, uh, we can see it in the device manager. If we will disconnect the ESP32, the is disconnect the USB ca cable, we will see this COM disappears and you can't find it here and after it we will reconnect the cable and um, see that it's appearing again in COM3. Now we are certain that our ESP32 is connected to COM3. Now we can flash the newly built uh, project to COM3 and in the flash command uh, 
and this is the second stage after the build and the third stage is to monitor the execution of uh, the program now the program is running and it's doing nothing for example let's write something like uh, some text we will open uh, we will go to the to the to the project which installed in the ESP IDF in my work in work project one inside main project we will open in standard editor in my case in uh, sublime text but you can choose whichever editor you want we will print f as some string for example hi and three dots and please note uh, n it's very important to execute uh, the print f command the new line uh, at the end of the string okay now we will rebuild we will do the same steps again by rebuilding it it's a very short process now we will flash flash it to com 3 and after that we will run it to by, by monitoring it ID, idf.py uh, uh, monitor okay it's executing the program and here we see at the end our string uh, was written